Hello and welcome. I am the student tie dip and chew guy, and this is the number 72 chew review. This is not chew review part two. This is the original series, the long format chew reviews. So this will be for this channel, another first look at a product. And as you just saw, it will be Red Ox. This is one of the outstanding chews that I've been doing when available. Uh, I did one on Thursday and now this one today. There will be one more of these of the first series, the long format, this coming Thursday. And then after that, I'll probably be waiting again for an unknown amount of time until we get the last couple products that haven't been done yet. In the meantime, after next Thursday, we will go back to the Chew Review Part 2, which is the second look short format Chew Reviews. So, Red Ox. For those that have been around a little while, you will recognize the packaging. This is of R.C. Owens Tobacco Company of Gallatin, Tennessee. They make basically just twist tobacco. Now this does this product here does come in two sizes. This is the smaller of the two. I know this for a fact because I have both sizes here. But I only usually do the review of one size for any given name and I usually if if it allows I will or I have the choice I will usually do the smaller one. So you have their standard layout bag, okay? It's usually yellow, always yellow, in fact. Print, all right, name's bold, and then it has what it is. Now, it's always twist, but they do vary a little bit depending. Uh, this one is natural leaf chewing tobacco. This will be a natural, probably not treated with anything, I am guessing. The product is very fresh. In fact, this was manufactured only a couple months ago, three months ago. So the product's fresh. The bag, as you can see, is holding air. The product in the bag is pliable. The lot number on the back of this bag is actually the manufacture date, and we will get to that in a second. So everything is fairly straightforward. It is denoted as natural leaf chewing tobacco. They do have ones that are that does vary depending on their products they do have like a sweetened twist on a couple of the products there's natural as in this one there is one and i have reviewed it but it slips my mind as to the name which product it was uh it was a burly leaf twist so this is just natural on the back you have the offset as with all twists, bag on the back. So, warning label on the back and the barcode and manufacturer's information. R.C. Owen Company, Gallatin, Tennessee. Sale is only allowed in the United States. Then if you flip up the seam on these, you'll have one twist. Standard thing, they never say what the ounce is. So, it is denoted as one twist, and then you have a lot number. So it's 020520. Okay, so it's four months old. Sorry. Um, that's really good for one of these, though. I mean, that that's that's pretty darn good. In fact, I don't think I've ever had any twist that was dated that close to the reveal. And then it is denoted as 100% domestic tobacco, which is literally the entire R.C. Owen line. It's all 100. And as, as a rule of thumb, sort of twists in general are usually 100% domestic tobacco. Usually, I, I can't think of one offhand that isn't. So, But all R.C. Owen products are. Okay, I have not run into one that used any foreign leaf. Um, 
and I retract that. There was one, I believe. Uh, but when I looked at the fine print on it, the foreign leaf turned out to be Canadian. So, I mean, yeah. It, it wasn't from Maui in Africa, let me put it that way. Uh, it, it was domestic and foreign, and the foreign was right across the border to our north here. So, I'm going to cut into this, and I am not going to pause this for the cutting up of the product. It may be off view of the camera because I sort of have to hold it to the desk here. I don't know. I was sitting here before the review. I'm like, why do I pause it to cut the twist up? It takes literally maybe two seconds. Except for this one tonight, of course, now that I've said that. So I cut the bags at the bottom because I save them and I leave it attached. Smell off the bag. It's, it's, an, it, yeah, it, it's not treated at all. But it doesn't come off as bitter in smell. But it's, it's a definite natural leaf tobacco smell. So, what you're looking at is that for size reference, my hand. It is basically not much of a hoop at all. I, and I noticed this on a couple of the others. It, it, it's not really too much of a hoop. Uh, there's no large hoop at the top. Uh, one that does have a large hoop, like it, it's, it's accented with a huge hoop, is, again, Cumberland Classic has it. And there are others. But this really, I, you know... It's not like the fold-over twists that this company does make and I have reviewed. Uh, there haven't been recent, but they will be on this playlist. But basically, it is... The hoop here is just it turning back on itself so they can twist it around. Now, for people new to this channel that haven't seen previous twists, when they say a twist, they are not talking about this spiral. They are talking about the rope being twisted, okay? And then that rope is put into this spiral that you're seeing here. But the twist does not, they are not, when they say twist on the bag and they call this a twist, this here that you're looking at is not the twist. It's the rope itself is twisted before it's put into this form, okay? So this is something that's been common through history with chewing tobacco. Uh, it is also something that is common in pipe tobacco, although pipe tobacco usually is twisted and then held like that for an elongated period of time and then cut up, okay? However, historically, these and also stuff meant for pipes, there was crossover. If this is absolutely natural, which I am thinking it is technically speaking this can be smoked i'm not going to it would probably be pretty harsh but historically twists in the united states could be smoked as well all right and that was being done up through the 1940s at least all right in britain twists for pipe tobacco it was known for men to sometimes chew it, all right? Which isn't too much of a reach if you think about it when you think about older generations that chewed on cigar ends. Same type of idea. So I'm going to cut this up right now. I'm going to take this. Now, it's thick on this side, and as soon as it turns over, it gets thin. So I'm going to take the thick side and cut it. I still got to brace it next to the table here. It's going to be dry, okay? I, I'm guaranteed and it is it is not in bad shape though nor would I expect it to be when it's been packaged that recently all right so that's what you're looking at all right and that's what I took off it as I said it's it's you know it's not much of a loop so I took the whole loop on this one all right 
uh, the wrapping of it, 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 it looks rough. Like it's a rough wrap, like they didn't smooth the wrapping out and do anything to it. They just put the filler in it and twisted because it's sort of rough on the outside. And there is dark and blonde. I'm taking it that is different types of leaf or leaf that has been stopped at certain points in the curing process. But there is blonde highlights. You can see one there. There's some here. And then there's dark bits here. But that the dark bits are not treated. It, it, it's not treated with molasses or anything. It's just the leaf, the natural leaf, is darker. So I am going to pause now when I, after I put this in because these usually take a little bit to get going. And I will be back in a moment. I don't know if you can hear this crunching, but this is pretty much the usual. Back in a minute. And I am back. So, it is about as natural as you can get. It, it's, it's plain, dried tobacco leaves wrapped in a twist and then twirled into the corn you saw when I pulled it out of the bag. It would seem, again, to be, have a nicotine content. I have s mouth sensation on the whole side of my tongue, on the side that I have it on. A little bit on the gum line, which is sort of surprising. And the cheek back behind it. And that is literally every twist I think I've ever done on here or had myself. Uh, although this is completely natural, it is not overly bitter, which I'm a little surprised by. And I am guessing that maybe that has something to do with the type of leaf they used. Now, I do not know for sure, but Red Ox, I am guessing that originally when they came out with this product god knows how many decades ago that it was called red ox because oxtail the the form that it's in and red because it's the type of leaf they're using okay um sort of like what turned out to be at the end of the day moore's red leaf that turned out to be loose leaf chill originally moore's red leaf from american snuff company was a twist which is why i was so surprised when that review came up a while ago months ago now and it was in a three ounce bag because i must have missed the email or something i did i was sure what was being shipped to me was going to be one of these guys so i'm thinking it has something to do with the leaf they're using okay nothing looks red to the eye looking at the product all right has something to do with a leaf, but whatever that leaf is, it's knocked the bitterness down. Not saying the bitterness isn't there, but it's not overblown like some of them. Uh, I think the wild duck from this company was like, wow, this is like really bitter. So taste-wise for guys that don't know what just leaf is, like what it tastes like when you don't do anything to it. Uh, it's tough to get going, number one. It tends to be drier. When it does get going, you'll know because you'll start getting mouth sensation. You'll start getting on your tongue and whatnot. It, they all seem to have nicotine. Flavor-wise, this isn't for everybody. And most, it, it, to be completely truthful, it's probably not for most. Okay? Even guys... that dip naturals this in this bag right here this is natural naturals dip wise i mean you got the salt content aspect and they usually have some sort of casing flavoring all right that's why you can tell the u.s smokeless tobacco company products all sort of have a theme that runs through them and then you have the american snuff and they have a theme 
this no themes no salt just tobacco comes off as bitter varying degrees this one as I said is not too bad this is one of those deals I can't explain to you what natural leaf non processed tobacco tastes like there's no way for me to explain that to you so this is one of those deals if you see it now these are usually priced really well even the larger ones keep in mind when you buy this that you got to look at it like from like okay there's a history aspect here there's a tradition aspect but also keep in mind that although history and tradition is cool I may not like this you will get nicotine out of it though and you will keep a smaller company like this going by even one purchase I mean you know this is not something I expect a lot of people to buy and then go back for more let me put it that way but one sold is better than none and to fully see what a twist is and understand it and you know no I mean yeah I try to put as much information as I can on these videos but this is one of those deals you sort of got to go do it and I think everybody should do it once keeping in mind that I'm letting you know now the great majority of you will not care for it at the same time there's nothing like once it gets going and juicing it's real dry at first and you're like uh, I don't know about this once it juices up and whatnot and you start realizing it actually has a nicotine content and you're getting a mouth sensation on your cheek and whatnot it's not that bad it does lean it, it is bitter this one is not overblown some of them are okay so keep that in mind but this is this is something that I, I I've said so many times in these twist videos this is sort of a part of American history in a way all right uh, and it predates plugs going west this was Appalachia when Appalachia was the west okay um, it's something everyone should try keeping in mind as I said you know don't don't pay you know 10 bucks for a twist because there's a very good chance you're not going to finish it or even get close all right but if you see something for like two or three bucks and you have two or three bucks look at it as a donation to RC Owen sort of like my raffles I always say look you may not win but you are keeping this channel going in fact you're watching what comes out of those raffles because this was funded by a raffle it was sourced by Haas 304 again thank you sir um, but it was paid for with proceeds from a raffle so look at it as a donation to RC Owen and something new to try along the way that said it's got nicotine takes a little while to get going very dry at first all right has nicotine and it has a bitter natural taste no salt and that's it I've rambled on enough trying to keep alive the twist market in North America <laughs> I am the Suntai Diffin Shoe Guy. This has been the Red Ox from R.C. Owen Company Twist Natural Leaf Chewing Tobacco. It is the smaller size. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.